Hey everyone, thanks for joining us once again. Uh, today we're going to be doing a makeover on this piece here. Uh, we're pretty sure it's a, an organ top or a piano top, something decorative that would have, you know, went, went on top of one of those pieces. Um, it's got a mirror here. Uh, we picked it up for $5 at an auction. Uh, so anytime you get something for $5 like this, it's a good deal. Um, we're going to turn it into something pretty cool, hopefully. Uh, we're going to paint this with uh, Miss Mustard Seed white mill paint. And we're going to put a rod across the bottom so you can hang quilts or towels or anything like that. Um, and it should be a nice wall hanger piece when we're done. So with that, let's get going. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is measure out uh, where I need to drill my hole to put the rod in on each side. Now I'm going to be doing just a little bit of a recess. I'm not going to run the rod the whole way through. I'm just going to kind of inset it a little bit. But I'm going to be going more for this area um, rather than out here for the reason being that it's going to offer a little more strength out here. Um, there was a, a screw that would go through here to attach this top. And there is a crack there. So if I put it out here and we put too much weight on that rod, it could break that off. So I'm gonna go for this area back in here. It should give it a little bit more strength. All right, so now I'm ready to drill my recessed holes. Um, make sure that you know, you're know you using the right size bit for whatever size rod you're using. Um, now you'll see I have tape on here and that's so it helps me guide how deep I'm going with this hole. I don't wanna go the whole way through. Um, I would wanna go just deep enough to give it a nice recess. Um, and I kind of want the tip to come a little bit out the other side because I'm gonna put a screw in the other side to hold that rod and then um, just to make sure we don't have any movement. Um, but I don't want to go too deep, which is why I have the tape on here to kind of guide me um, on the depth. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and cut our rod piece to length. Um, make sure when you take your measurement that you're going from the inside if you're doing recessed holes like I did, um, so you don't cut yourself short. So make sure you're going from your inside to inside dimension. Now we're going to try to dry fit this, make sure it's at a good length. All right, and that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stain this with uh, Fusion's SFO stain and finishing oil in cappuccino. So it'll give this a nice dark look uh, when we paint this white, it'll give it a kind of a nice contrast, especially when the paint chips off of this a little bit and we distress it. Um, this dark wood coming through should match up pretty well with the darkness on this and give it a nice look.
All right, now that we have our uh, paint on here, we use two coats on this to get some decent coverage. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give it a heavy distressing. Um, this didn't chip as much as I thought it would. Um, with the milk paint, if it's a smoother surface, a lot of times you'll get a lot of chipping um, just naturally. But this actually stuck pretty well, so we're gonna go pretty heavy on the distressing just to uh, give it a nice aged look. And I'm using uh, 150 grit sandpaper just to start, um, just to get right down to business. Uh, we'll see how it works, make sure it's turning out the way we want. And if I need to go to a lighter grit, then we'll do that. But let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and just use a piece of sandpaper to kind of get in some of the places I couldn't reach with the sander um, and also kind of even out some of these uh, sanding spots from the orbital sander just to get them a little bit more natural and smooth. Hey guys, for the next part, I am going to be using Miss Mustard Seeds um, Furniture Wax, and I have a huge vat of it here. You've seen me use it before if you watch our channel. It's just a regular old furniture wax, and I'm going to use some blue shop towels, and we'll just kind of wipe the wax on and then buff it back off. That's pretty much the whole process. It's super easy, and that's just going to seal it and make sure that we kind of protect the paint. All right, so let's get started. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our rod in. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in each end uh, just to make sure it holds it nice and tight. And then I'm going to go and put a little nail in each end here where I have my little hole from when I drilled. Um, so that should just hold it all together nice and tight. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is put a couple of these D-rings on the back so we can hang it up on a wall. Um, now, what you wanna make sure of is the load on these. Uh, these are good for 40 pounds each. Should be enough to hold this up nicely, um, as well as a quilt or anything else that you're, you're hanging on the front rod. Uh, I'm gonna put these at 32 inches apart as well so that you can hit studs in most houses so that way it gives a little bit extra strength so when you're putting your screws in um, you're making sure you're hitting the studs so I'm making sure I'm going to do these at 32 inches apart uh, just so it gives it that extra strength when you're hanging it onto a wall. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any comments, feel free to leave those below as well. And with that, we'll see you next time.